shelter here. I had, uh, you know, we've received a lot of comments and questions and stuff on the original video I did last year. It's been a while since we talked about it. But uh, since, since winter time, you know, in the winter time we had the boards up on the sides and then one back on the back to, to kind of keep the wind out and everything like that. Went ahead and opened up the sides. There's still a board in the back uh, to keep, uh, give them a little bit of shade late in the day and then you know, just to kind of keep any rains out of the west uh, from blowing in this way during a storm. And uh, we've had a lot of rainy weather lately. And uh, inside there, you know, we probably had 12, 14 inches of, of nasty, wet, uh, soggy hay, you know, that had uh, all the, you know, goat's uh, urine and uh, manure and stuff in there as well. So I wish I'd been able to get a lot of video for you yesterday. We went in and cleaned it up. and. And planned out and built a swale here yesterday and uh, I apologize for not having any video of that but uh, we're just kind of in a hurry had another project meeting there earlier in the day something else I'm working on and uh, it was already kind of a scheduled event so we didn't get out here and get started till about 3 30 but managed to get the tractor uh, the bucket on my tractor just barely fit on either side of the center post there so I was able to scoop out quite a bit and with uh, the entire family's help and my brothers as well we managed to get it all cleaned out in about an hour and a half and uh, then we set to work on uh, uh, I built a little crude a-frame and uh, managed to find my contour line over here and uh, pick this area in order to do a swell now this swell is not quite on contour we got a little bit of a probably about a one percent maybe one and a half percent downgrade to where it's gonna flow from from here to here and uh, we'll show you a little bit of a video from last night we took we dumped uh, had the water trough over here and we went ahead and dumped it out to test it and make sure but all I did with the tractor is I've got the uh, four foot tiller on the back you know that I've been using with the garden and what I did I just come through and just made a pass with the with the tiller and come back with the bucket and moved it back to this side and then just made another pass with the tiller and just went down and made about four or five passes with it in in that manner and just every time just come back with the bucket and uh, bring it out and so you know we've got about six to seven inches of depth there in the swale and it's worked beautifully uh, you know the water just come down here and I've kind of gotten a flattened area here where where the, the seal and the overflow is so everything just kind of drains off in this direction we got about two inches of rain last night and this and everything down here was all still kind of muddy from the rains we had had so I'm not really terribly concerned about that there's a little bit of water uh, in the front but back up in the in the back part back there you can see that it's still dry back there and uh, we what we did after we cleaned it out we cleaned it down all the way down to the mud underneath and then we went and got I want to say like 15 bags of mulch they were about two bucks a piece at, at Lowe's and uh, we just went ahead and spread that out underneath and uh, then we got a couple of bales of hay back out of the barn and, and covered up on top. And uh, I think it's keeping them dry. They're, they seem to be happy in here today. And uh, it's going to be a lot healthier for them this way. And then having the swale over here, uh, be able to move that water around it. And uh, I think it's going to work out well. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. And uh, we'll cut into to the part that I shot last night. So it won't be a close after that. So thank you guys for watching. Talk to you guys later. First swell. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It's swell. Yeah, how about that?